Hi, uh, this is Dr. Robert Chow reporting for Room Now, live from ACR 22. Um, and today I wanted to share a topic uh, about what happens after you stop biologics. As we know, um, this is a common question and commonly happens in our clinic. Um, and nowadays, you know, people are stopping their treatments, including biologics, for really a variety of reasons. And then the first and foremost being COVID. Um, infections, uh, lifestyle issues, maybe people just don't want to inject themselves every few weeks. Um, obviously, insurance issues plays a big factor. Um, and sometimes patients undergo procedures where the uh, you know, surgeon recommends they hold the biologic for a amount of a uh, period uh, um, of time. And some people just don't want to take it. You know, they don't want to be on an immunosuppressant um, for whatever reason. Uh, this study uh, was abstract 0427, and it was the COAST Y phase three extension study uh, with uh, 155 patients with axial spinal arthritis who were on exkizumab. And they focus on a randomized withdrawal retreatment period uh, through two years. And these patients already re re achieved remission with an ASTAS of less than 1.3 or had low disease activity. And at week 24, they were randomized to either continue their treatment of exkizumab or placebo. Um, and patients who then subsequently flared switched back to exkizumab the next visit. Um, overall, 36% of patients who were randomized to placebo never experienced a flare, while 28 patients or 52% did flare. Um, of those who did flare, 82% re or who were recaptured achieved a low disease activity, and 68% uh, had inactive disease after restarting exkizumab treatment. So I think overall, very interesting study and interesting data. Um, it does show that restarting exkizumab works. Uh, it helps doctors and patients alike um, who have to or need to stop the therapy. It's uh, good evidence for, for that scenario. Um, I think overall, for me, it probably wouldn't uh, make me start or stop therapy like that. Um, because number one, the study is only focusing on IL-17 inhibitors. Um, and I think personally, and from other studies, we have seen that TNF uh, inhibitor users, when they restart therapy after a long pause, sometimes they find there is no efficacy. Um, and another interesting piece of data from this study is that 36% of patients who stop therapy didn't flare. You know, I would say this is not a... Um, small number, um, and perhaps a longer study focusing on those select patients uh, would be interesting to figure out, you know, does number one, does that um, lack of flare last and how long? And what exactly about these patients caused them not to flare when they stopped therapy? So thanks for tuning in uh, for continued coverage of ACR 22. Please uh, visit Room Now and follow me on Twitter at Dr. RBC. Thanks.